Hi, I'm Winnie. I'm the founder of VintageHeirloom.com. We specialise in selling vintage designer brands such as Louis Vuitton, Celine, Gucci and Chanel. One of the brands I'm going to talk about today is Chanel. Buying vintage, authentic Chanel is a minefield. So I'm going to discuss and show you the top 10 examples, the differences between authentic and replica Chanel bags and in particular these two models the 255 Chanel Classic Flat Bag. Here I have two 255 Classic Flat Bags in the popular 10 inch size. One is authentic and one is replica. Please take a moment to have a look at both bags. Can you spot the difference between the two? This one here is actually authentic and this one here is a replica. One of the most obvious comparisons between the two is the leather. Real 255 bags use lambskin leather. Lambskin, as its name suggests, is made from a lamb. It's known for its buttery softness, it's very delicate, and it's often a very expensive leather to use. People get confused between lambskin and calfskin. Calfskin is from a young cow, and it's much more durable and hard-wearing than lambskin and the calf skins are used on the shoppers, the totes, and the Cambon Line lines and the Grand and Petite shoppers. Now we're going to look at the turnstile lock and the hardware. The double C lock is one of the most recognisable designs on the 255 bag. This iconic lock was designed by Carl Lagerfeld in the mid 80s. The original 255 lock designed by Chanel herself is very different to what you see now. It's rectangular in shape and it has no logo or Chanel stamping. The double C lock is also referred to as the Mademoiselle lock as Chanel never married. Looking at the two turnstile locks, the replica version has a thinner C and it's slightly shorter and it has a rounded finish. The authentic version it's a slightly wider C and a slightly longer and it has a flat edge finish. Also, as a rule of thumb, looking at the turnstile lock, the right C should always be over the left C hook. A lot of people ask me what these markings mean, which sometimes you find on the left hand or the right hand or the bottom left or right. These mean the country of origin where the bag was made. Where there is a marking, the bag is usually made in France. So there's a marking here, if it's open. It should say made in France in the bag. Where the hardware is no marking, then the bag is made in Italy. Another important thing about the turnstile lock, if you flip the bag over, the back plate should have flat head screws. On the left, it should say Chanel, and on the right should say Paris. Now we're going to look at the stitching. Designer high-end bags should have a high stitch count. This ensures durability. It's also a costly production process as the needles go through a lot of wear and tear. Authentic bags should have more than 10 stitches per one inch. This replica version has a low stitch count. You can tell by the overall puffiness and padded look of this bag. Now we're going to look at the lining. The lining is often overlooked. A sign of a quality item is the lining, and this is a good indication whether a bag is authentic or a replica. Let's look at the authentic bag. As you can see, the lining lies beautifully flat against the bag. It fits snugly with no lumps or bumps showing. Also, it's quite difficult for me to separate the lining. I'm doing it with some difficulty here. If we compare this to the replica version, the lining inside is very baggy and loose. It's a sign of a poorly constructed bag. It's also very easy for me to pull out the lining. Now we're going to look at the Chanel stamping. If we open the bag, the Chanel stamping should sit one and a half centimetres below the quilted C. It should say Chanel on one side and opposite should say Made in France. So it looks like it's mirroring each other. Another thing to look out for is the gap in between the two double C 
This distance should match the distance between this C and this C. Now we're going to look at the replica version. Lift up the flap. As you can see, it says Chanel and made in France all on one side of the bag. Now this is true, but only on the caviar skin version, not on the lamb skin. So this is the authentic caviar skin version. And as you can see, it says Chanel and made in France all on one side. And also please note the caviar version has a black lining. Now we're going to look at the chain straps. The allure of the 255 is the famous chain and leather straps. The authentic version, the gold chain hardware is actually gilded with 24 karat gold and it's recognisable by its yellow gold appearance. It should also be heavy in weight. If we compare to the replica version, the chain strap is a pale yellow gold colour, so it's obviously not gilded in 24 karat gold. And if we have the links side by side, the authentic version is actually at a smaller link. Now we're going to look at the shape of the bags. Let's compare the bags side by side. As you can see on the replica version, the corners are more rounded. It's a sign that the bag has not been turned out properly. And on the authentic version, it's more squared off. Now we're going to compare the quilting on the bags. Quilting on the 255 should always maintain a consistent diamond pattern even when the bag is closed. And when you turn the bag over, where the pocket sits, it should still maintain a good diamond pattern shape like this. It should be consistent and should be running parallel. Now the replica version, even I have to say, they've done a pretty good job. When the bag is closed, the quilting is running in a good shape. And it's not too bad at the back either. But I have seen replica versions where there are loose threads and there are marks of glue. It's obviously, it's done very cheaply and quickly. Now we're going to look at serial stickers. Serial stickers were first introduced in 1984 and continue to be used present day. Bags predating this do not have stickers. The sticker signifies the bag model and year of manufacture. I'm going to show you three examples. A six digit code, for example, seen here, signifies this bag was made sometime between 1984 and 86. Seven digit codes, for example, this bag here, means that this bag was made sometime between 1986 and 2004. And eight digit codes, which is seen in this bag here, means it's a model made in 2005 to present day. Chanel do not produce bags with serial numbers beyond eight digits. If you see a bag with nine digits or more, it's obviously a fake. On the 255, the serial sticker should be found on the bottom left-hand corner, as seen here. Customers often get hung up on serial stickers and authenticity cards. In my opinion, these are the easiest things for replica companies to copy. Just because a bag doesn't have a sticker, it doesn't mean it's not authentic. For example, styles from the mid-80s to the mid-90s, the stereo sticker was literally just a sticker, so it could be easily rubbed off. So don't worry if you can't find one. And finally, we're going to look at authenticity cards. The card system was introduced the same time as the serial sticker. Here I have some replica cards. We'll look at this card first. If I hold it up to the light, it has a hologram effect, sort of rainbowy hue. This is a sign it's replica because authentic cards do not have this hologram effect. Another example is this card here. If you notice, 
the card is misaligned. It's not even printed straight. Also, when I touch the card, it feels like cardboard. It doesn't have the consistency of a credit card. Here, I have two authentic cards. They do not have the hologram sheen and they have the consistency of a credit card. People ask me what this grey symbol means. Often people mistaken this as a fake card. However, this is not the case. It means that the card and bag were made in 2005 onwards. The card with no symbol was pre-2005. And finally, I think personally for me, the biggest difference between replica and authentic bag is the quality. This authentic version here is over 20 years old and its condition is immaculate. Its testimony to Chanel craftsmanship, as Chanel used the best artisans and the best materials, this bag was made to last. Unlike the replica here, okay, it's a fraction of the price, but you get what you pay for. Replica bags will cut corners. They use the cheapest and the quickest methods. The quality is not equal to the authentic version. So, in summary, the top 10 things you should look out for are the quality of leather, the turnstile lock and hardware, the stitch count, the lining, the Chanel stamping, the chain straps, the overall shape, quilting, serial sticker, and the authenticity card. Thank you for watching this film. My name is Winnie. All the information on this film has been researched and collated over the years by myself. For more fabulous vintage Chanel, please visit my website, vintageheirloom.com. I'll see you again soon.